Hey guys, so I don't know if you're aware, but tomorrow, Wednesday, April 22nd, is Earth Day. So Earth Day is an annual event celebrated around the world on April 22nd to demonstrate support for environmental protection. Um, so some ways we can protect the Earth is by recycling. So I'm going to read a book today to you called Sam Helps Recycle. And this is by Judith Stamper. So this is the front cover. We have the spine. We have the back cover. Remember, the author writes the book. So Sam helps recycle. Hi, my name is Sam. I'm helping Maya and her mom recycle our trash. I hear Maya calling me now. Got to go. Woof. So there's Maya and her mom, and they're sorting out the recycling. Some of our trash goes into garbage cans. The rest goes into recycling bins. Maya has a big stack of newspapers ready. Wait a minute. I have to get that newspaper I hid behind the bushes. I'll add it to the stack. So look, he found his newspaper. Cans and glass bottles are next. We put them into a separate bin. Hey, they are throwing away my dog food. No, it's okay. These cans are already empty. So there's all different things that you can recycle. You have paper, glass, and you have cans. Plastic goes into the last bin. I run out to get a bottle I left in the yard. I don't want to litter. When I come back, I get a surprise. My food bowl is in the recycling bin. Why are they throwing my food bowl away? Before I can save my bowl, Maya calls me to get into the car. She says we're going to the recycling center. We're also bringing old batteries and unused paint. It's not safe to keep them around. In some towns, sanitation workers pick up the trash on one day and recycling bins on another day. Where we live, we do our recycling ourselves. Maya's mom starts the car. Here we go. In my town, my trash is picked up on Mondays and the recycling is picked up on Wednesdays. Let me know below in the comments what days your trash is picked up and what days your recycling is picked up. Maya's mom says that each person in the United States produces more than four pounds of garbage a day. That's enough to make more than 60,000 truckloads of trash. I wonder, where does all that garbage go? Where do you think it goes? I soon find out. We drive by a huge landfill. My nose can smell it a mile away. Maya's mom tells us that a landfill is a deep hole dug into the ground. It has the lining of clay and plastic at the bottom. The lining keeps the rotting garbage from leaking into the groundwater. There are big bulldozers pushing huge piles of garbage that have been dumped at the landfill. The trucks pack it down with their wide tires. I've heard Maya say that there's just too much trash to put in landfills. That's why we have to recycle paper, plastic, cans, and bottles. All these things can be reused and turned into new things. I'm glad that we're, we're at the recycling center, but I'm still worried about my food bowl. I watch while some people put their newspapers into a big container. Then Maya and her mom dump their newspapers. My paper goes in too. A sanitation worker comes over to pet me. He tells Maya that recycling paper saves lots of trees and lots of energy too. 
explains that our recycled paper gets packed into big bales that go to a paper recycling factory. I don't know if you guys remember, but I told you paper is made from trees. That's why you save lots of trees if you recycle paper. At the factory, the old paper is turned into pulp. Then it goes through a machine that turns out miles of new paper every day. Look at that. Next, Maya adds our bottles and cans to a big pile. A front end loader scoops them up and dumps them into the back of a truck. It makes a horrible racket. I wish I could cover my ears. Yelp! The worker says that the bottles and cans will go to a sorting factory that separates the glass and the metal. Then they will go to a separate factory to be recycled. At one factory, the glass bottles are crushed and melted into a liquid. Then the liquid glass is poured into molds to make new bottles and other products. Look at that. The cans are taken to a different place before they leave the sorting center. Though they are crushed together into bales, then they are taken to a factory that recycles metal. Recycled cans are made into new cans that can be recycled all over again. Maya's mom unloads the plastic last. I see my food bowl sitting on top of that pile. Do you see it, guys? It's right there. The worker tells us that the plastic bottles take up a lot of space. In some landfills, they may never decompose or waste away. That's why it's really important to recycle plastic. He says that the plastic is sent from the recycling center to a factory. First the plastic is cleaned, then it is chopped up into little pieces. Finally, it is melted down and made into new plastic products. On our way home, I worry about my bowl, but I still feel good about recycling. When I go into the house, I get a great surprise. Maya shows me my new red bowl. She points out the recycling symbol on the side as she fills it with food. Yep, yep. While I'm eating, Maya and her mom talk about other recycled products. Maya's notebook comes from recycled paper. Some clothes are made from recycled plastic. Even some playground services are made from old tennis shoes and rubber tires. After I finish my food, I head straight up to my doggy bed for a nap. Recycling is a lot of work, but it is worth it. The end. Okay guys, so let me know what you thought about this book and also, Try to see if you and your family can recycle and see if you can separate it by paper, plastic, aluminum, and let me know. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.